Hello and welcome to my Python programming tutorial where this time I'm going to be going through more for loops tasks. So in my last video on for loops I've introduced you to for loops, what they are and what you can do with them. So let's have a look at some of the tasks we need to do today. Ooh, we need to write the Python program that asks the user to display their name and use a for loop to display that name three times. Nice and easy. We're going to do name equals input. You can do str brackets input, but you don't need to. So we can ask the user to enter your name. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do for i in range. And I'm going to do that to three. And then I'm going to print name. Then I'm going to press run. And then once we press run, I'm going to type in my name. And you can see it's outputted three times there. Okay. So you've output those names three times. Nice and, nice and easy there. Okay. What if we want to do a program that asks the user to enter their name and display each letter on a separate line? So you would do the name. You would do that. You would need to do the name, name variable, input, enter your name, and you could do for letter in name. And then what we can do here is we can print letter. So I'm going to enter that, and there we go. It's printed each letter. So I've used the letter instead of in name, and it meaning I've printed out each letter within our name. Nice and easy, nice and easy there. What's the next one? We need to write a Python program that will give the user, that will give the square of the numbers 1 to 12. So the square of 1 is going to be 1, the square of 2 is going to be 4, the square of 3 is going to be 9. Okay. How are we going to do this? So what we need to do is we need an integer variable called number. So int input. So we could say enter a number. Nice and easy. And then that one, we need a loop. So what the loop is going to do, we need a loop that will repeat. Or what we could do is a times. Enter a multiple. So rather than have it fixed to 13, we can set it to times. So we do 4i in range. And then in that for loop, we're going to have. We are going to have 1. And then we're going to have number. In there. And then in that, we are going to have oh wait, we don't need the times. So we just need one the number. So we're gonna have answer equals we're gonna have answer equals x times x or we'll just do that x in range so answer is this x times x and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to print is we're going to print out x times x it's going to give us the answer so let's say I was going to do enter a number, and I'm going to do 12. So it's given us all multiplications. It's gone up to 11 times 11. So I want to do go up to 20. It's going up to 19. We've got 1 to 19. So we have got all the different 
So we've got the different square numbers going on here, okay? And that's in nice four easy lines. Okay. And we have done tasks two, we have done essentially task two, task three, and task four all together. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share my video. And I, and I look forward to making the next video for you pretty soon. Goodbye for now.